So yeah, as Kyle was saying, um, I'm an architect and I've been in Japan uh, 30 years now. I traveled uh, to Japan after the Royal College of Art with Astrid Klein, who's my business partner. And this is our day job. We're, we're, we're architects and this is Ginza Place on the, uh, on the main crossroads into Tokyo. Um, and uh, yeah, we do pretty interesting pr projects here. Um, it's really great because there are no, there are no, there's no visual planning rules here like L London. There are no planners as such, so we can do anything we want. This is a wedding chapel um, in the fo foothills of the uh, of the Alps in Japan, and uh, it's designed like a wedding veil. Uh, when the uh, groom picks up the bride's veil, this swings open. It's perforated with 4,700 holes. So that's my day job. Um, I also got a night job, uh, which was running um, an event called Super Del uh, called, uh, an event space called Super Deluxe, and uh, we had about twenty five events a month. It was a really interesting. Well, we didn't to start with. That was the problem. When we opened the space, we didn't have enough events, and we had to invent some events. And this was in two thousand and three, the dawn of digital photography in Kino on the Mac. And this is where we decided to start running a show and tell. We, we have these office meetings every Monday morning, people show what they're up to. We thought, well, why don't we do that in a public space and get architects and designers to show what they're up to? But you know what architects are like, they talk too much, especially about a boring handrail detail or something like that. So we thought, well, we'd be, we're interested to hear them speak, but we don't hear them speak too long. So we came up with the idea of 20 images shown for 20 seconds each, so 400 seconds. And uh, we had our first event. His, Hisayama-san, uh, one of our staff, our main staff in the office, came up with the name Pachakacha, which means chit-chat in Japanese. It's an onomatopoeia. So it's chit-chat, 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 or Pachakacha, Pachakacha, Pachakacha. And Pachakacha Night was born. It ran in Tokyo for two or three years, just as a, 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 just as a monthly event. And then something strange happened in 2005, 2006. It started to go viral around the world. And suddenly, we were in 20 cities. And uh, I made a website and had made the website and I made it look like a motorway sign because that's going to be cool but never do that because because um, the motorway sign gets really really long and um, it's interesting we've never promoted projection night um, it just it just goes uh, somebody comes from another city sees it and wants to take it to their city uh, so I think we've really hit on something that um, it's a way for people to show and share their creativity in their cities and from uh, from one-off event in Tokyo we're now in 1227 cities today uh, we have we normally have over 100 events a month, um, so hence we're, we're moving online. Uh, but it is it is really interesting um, how this thing has spread organically, and I think there is a need for this type of thing, uh, a, a need for normal people to show what they get up to. So going back uh, 2010, there was the earthquake in Haiti, and uh, we were about 600 cities then, and there was a thought to get together. Could 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 we do something uh, to help? And we ran this uh, um, uh, pr project uh, to help Haiti. It was with Cameron Sinclair, an architecture for humanity. And we had this crazy idea of running events all around the world. Uh, we raised $100,000 and we helped build a school in Haiti with the Ben Stiller Foundation. A year later, uh, the shoe was on the other foot and uh, there was a terrible earthquake and tsunami and nuclear issues in Japan. I just wanna give you a sense of that disaster, yeah. 120,000 homes destroyed in 20 minutes with the tsunami, quarter of a million dis destroyed, so they had to be re re rebuilt. You know, it was a really amazing uh, moment. And Japan had inspired so many people around the world, designers and architects, and we thought it was important for our community to inspire Japan back. So we, we decided to have a global event, we made a logo. And what's amazing with the Pachacha community is they are so creative, they come up with these amazing posters, the, and you know, it's just incredible. And a month after the event, we held, uh, a, bit, a month after the earthquake, we held a global event, there were 105 cities joined, um, you know, and it was a really, really amazing, passionate e evening. We actually had a massive earthquake again that, that, that night. We were at the top of this uh, 50 story building, so it was pretty scary. But what's been, what's been, what's amazing is this, is we're capturing the moment, we're capturing the issues, and as I said before, we're, we're, we're really not the first responders, Jackson, like, kind of, we're like the last responders, and we're continually picking up information. People are telling us stories, to, even today, about uh, the earthquake and what happened and um, how, how people have recovered. And so, as I say, all these get recorded. Every presentation right now is being recorded. It will be on the website uh, in uh, a few, few days or a few hours, I think. Um, and here you can see, here's a story about a person who lives in the te temporary homes in Japan, temporary housing areas. And then another one here, Safecaster will be speaking ne next week about this uh, community project they did uh, to, to assess the, the ra radiation risk um, across Japan. And then other, other people within our community too have had issues. And actually just a month after the earthquake in Japan, there was a massive earthquake in Christchurch and about three major earthquakes since then. And Christchurch in New Zealand is a very, very strong Pachacha city. 
um, and we, we set up an Inspire event for them. And again, they've said that this has really helped change their city and, uh, and, and Pachacha has been this really um, central part that, ev that everybody um, comes together for. Other things happen, uh, uh, I've just been chatting to somebody in Quito in Ecuador. They had a huge earthquake, so we had a huge, huge earthquake in Kumamoto. Uh, we were just happening to be having a, um, an event in Tokyo and we brought two cities together and we had a chat. So this brings us to our latest project, um, which is uh, Inspire the World. And I think we really, uh, and we, we're proving that we're doing that tonight. The presentation has been amazing. Um, we've made some ourselves already. Brian um, uh, Pachach and I, who uh, looks after our whole global communities, made this fantastic presentation about washing your hands. But what we're doing is we're spreading this out and running a series of global events uh, around the world. This is the first one. So thank you again to Manchester and London for putting this on. Next week, we're having one uh, which will be more uh, Europe set centric and US set centric. Uh, and then please check back to our website, just go to the channels and you'll be able to see where all the events are ha happening. Um, just by chance, we've been building this thing called Pachatra Create, which allows you, if you can't make it to an event and you want to say something, go to Pachatra Create, click on the button, you can upload voice and share your presentation online and it's free. So it's great for school kids, for things to do at home. If you've got a collection that you want to show, your skateboard or your shoe collection, or you have something really, really important to say, please make a presentation there and hashtag it Pachatra Inspire. So I want to say thank you very, very much. Uh, for uniting the whole of the UK and being a part of a Pachacha Inspire the World. And let's get some really fantastic presentations and make an awesome archive and inspire everybody in the process. Thank you very much.